Hi again, everyone. It's Maria with Two River Theater. Thank you so much for joining us again today. In this video, we are going to be expanding our actor's toolkit with feelings and facial expressions, thinking about the way that actors use facial expressions and body language to help portray the emotions of the characters they're playing. Now, all of the activities that we do today could be played with another person but you can also do it alone. And if you're gonna do the first part alone, I recommend having a mirror or a webcam so that you can kind of see your own face since we're gonna be working a lot with those facial expressions. To get started, I wanna start really simple by giving ourselves a gentle facial massage. So when you're ready, we're gonna go ahead and place our fingers onto our jaw and loosen all of the tightness. We'll move our fingers up to our temple, our head, and give it a nice rub. Rub all that tension out. You can even rub your nose a little bit, or your eyebrows, get them a little eyebrow massage. And now take the tips of your fingers, and we're gonna tap, 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 tap really getting our facial muscles warm and awake and ready to go. Amazing. Now for this first activity, we're gonna be exploring a variety of different facial expressions and emotions that we'll use for our characters later on in our game. So I'll ask that you write down or have someone help you write down a few of the different facial expressions we'll be exploring today, or you can print them out as well. Now the first one we're going to start with is the emotion of happy. So what does your face look like when you're happy, when something really good happens to you? I'll show you mine. This is my happy face. This is what I look like when I'm happy. Do you have a happy face? Sometimes when I'm happy, I smile, my eyes light up. I look really energized and ready to go. Now, it's totally okay if your happy face looks very different from mine. Whatever your happy face looks like, take some time to explore it now. We'll place our card to the side and we're gonna shake it off like we're wearing a mask. Now on to the next emotion. The next emotion is Sad. <laughs> this is my sad face. What does your sad face look like? <laughs> Go ahead and, and try your sad face on. And <laughs> it's okay if you want to add some sound, because sometimes when I'm sad, I, I have trouble catching my breath. And when, you, when you've taken some time to explore your sad face, I want you to go ahead and <laughs> shake that one off. All right, now for the next emotion we're going to be exploring, we are going to write down angry. What's your angry face like? This is what I look like when I'm angry. Do you have a face for when something doesn't go your way or you're really upset? What does your angry face look like? Maybe you furrow your brows or scrunch your chin. That's how I let someone know that I'm not happy with them. And when you're ready, we're gonna go ahead and shake it off. Now we're gonna do one more emotion. This is one I am very familiar with. Tired. Oh. This is my tired face. Oh. Do you have a tired face? What, do, what does your face look like when you're, when you have to wake up early for school or you didn't get enough sleep? Oh, yeah, this is my tired face, I'm sorry. I'm just so tired, oh my God. Oh. 
shake it off. So now that we've tried on and familiarized ourselves with a variety of different emotions, we are gonna go ahead and move into another activity. This is a little game I like to call feeling photos. Now for this game, you're gonna need two containers and they can be anything that you have at home, um, two hats or two bowls or two bags, whatever can hold the cards that we're gonna be using today. So in the first container, you're gonna wanna go ahead and place those emotion cards that we either wrote or printed out before into the container. We'll put those away. Now, for our second container, we're gonna come up with some different cards to go inside here. We're going to come up with four different characters. Now, you can decide on the characters you want to use today, or you can borrow the ones I'm using. The ones I'll be using today are a ballerina, a superhero, a teacher, and last but not least, a musician. Go ahead and place all of those character cards into your other container. So whether you're using my cards or different cards, it doesn't really matter. Just make sure that these are characters that you're kind of interested in playing. It could be anything, something that you like to do, a video game player or a dancer or any job that you're interested in. Go ahead and write your characters down on the cards, get them in that second container. And when you're ready, we're going to combine the emotions from before with the characters we're playing in this game, Feeling Photos. So here's how it's going to work. Now this next part is really best done with another person so you can watch each other and really turn it into a game. But if you don't have anyone today, you can either pause the video and come back to it or you can try it alone in front of a mirror or a webcam. Now we're gonna have our two containers, one with our emotions and one with our characters. And without looking, playing with our partner, we are going to select an emotion and a character from each container. And it looks like I have a sad ballerina. Once I have my cards, I am going to go in front of my partner or my camera and mirror and think about how a sad ballerina might pose, kind of creating a photo or a stage picture, a snapshot of that character feeling that emotion. Let me give it a try. So a sad ballerina. Or... Take your snapshot and then give your partner a turn. Here, I'll do another example. Let's do a tired superhero. Hmm, okay. So thinking about my tired expression and how a superhero might pose, perhaps it looks something like this. Hmm. That's my tired superhero. And that's feeling photos. I hope that this game helps you to see the way that facial expressions or emotions really impact our characters, their body language, how they're perceived on stage by audiences. Now, if you're ready to level up, you can even play this game by having you and your partner that you were rotating with strike a pose at the same time. For example, I, the first player, would go ahead and select my emotion card, which is happy, followed by my character card, musician, and then I'd bring my partner in to select his cards. So we've got an angry teacher. And now instead of taking separate turns, we'd go ahead and create a stage picture together. So I'm doing a happy musician and an angry teacher. Thank you so much for playing with me today. I hope you've had some fun going through the activities in a variety of different combinations. Remember, you can modify these activities to fit your needs and interests. And the most important thing is that you have a ton of fun with them. Have a beautiful day.